All right, let's recap what we did last time. Now we started talking about chapter four, moment. Right? What is moment really? The meaning of moment is the tendency of force to make an object rotate. Okay? So you have a force being applied on a rigid body, anywhere on a rigid body. Okay? Now this force will have a tendency to want to make this object rotate. So this tendency is measured by moment. Okay? It has symbol M. Now, <clears throat> when we talk about moment, we always talk about moment about a certain reference point. Okay? A, a point or an axis. In this case, I draw this into like a 2D surface. So this moment about this point O can be thought of as moment about this axis that's pointing in and out of this, this board, okay? So it refers to the same thing, okay? But in a 2D space, <coughs> um, you can just, you know, look at it as a, a moment about this point, O. Oh. So moment in the scalar basis, okay, the magnitude of moment is equal to force. The magnitude of the force times D. D is the shortest distance between the point O, where you take moment about, and the line of action of force. Okay. So, in this case right here, this particular example, this force is applied at an angle, okay, instead of perpendicular to this um, the direction of this uh, rigid body right here, it's applied at an angle, right? So, moment created by this force about this point O is simply the magnitude of this force times the shortest distance between this line right here, this line of action of this force, and point O. And this line is exactly the line that makes a right angle okay, between this line of action and point O. So D is the shortest distance. Now, <coughs> moment in reality is a vector. Okay? So we can talk about the scale, the magnitude of the moment. Okay, the moment also has direction. Right? So the the actual okay, full definition of moment is this. Okay, the moment vector about point O is equal to R vector, the position vector, cross with the force vector. Now this is the cross product. Okay? Now, <clears throat> what's R vector? Now, R vector is the vector going from the point where you take moment about to where the force is being applied. So in this case, R vector going from here to here. So this is my R vector. Alright, so the R vector, well vector has, you know, if you break it down into Cartesian coordinates, so you have i, j, and k components. Okay? So, so the moment vector is equal to this R vector, cross it with this force vector right here. Okay? Now, this is cross product now. Alright? Okay. Cross product can be calculated by using determinants. Okay? So, here's the form. So, you have three rows three rows and three columns, right? So I, J, K in the first row. The second row is this R right here, the components of R. So R, X, R, Y, and R, Z. The last row, component of force vector. So F, X, F, Y, and F, Z. Okay, <coughs> let's look at cross product a little more. Cross product, okay, let's look at this uh, Cartesian coordinate system. You have X, Y, and Z this way. So I have unit vector i, j, and k, okay? You can take cross products of the unit vectors themselves. And i, cross it with j, this one right here, it gives you k. So this i vector, unit vector, right, having a, a magnitude of 1 in the x direction, cross it with the j unit vector, it gives you Another vector, a third vector, is exactly the k vector. Okay? In 
same thing. You keep going. J vector cross with K it gives you I vector. Okay? So basically this cross product follows right hand rule. Okay? So I cross J gives you K. So if you stick your hand in the I direction, X direction, cross it with J, which is the Y direction, so you go up like this, where your thumb is pointing, that's your positive K direction. Okay? So so if you get I cross it with J, it gives you K. You follow this direction. J cross it with K gives you I. Okay? And then K cross it with I gives you J. So on. If it's the opposite, <clears throat> let's say if I want to cross K with J, so K cross J is simply, it just flips the direction. K cross with J, it would just be negative. Okay? So K cross J gives you negative I. Okay? So right hand rule <coughs> gives you the positive direction. If you go reverse direction, then you need to add a, a negative num uh, uh, sign. Okay. Now, <coughs> sometimes you hear the word torque, and the torque, same meaning as moment, okay, same definition. So, R cross it with F. Okay? Now, last time I talked about the geometric meaning of R and F, okay, when it times take this force magnitude and multiply that with the shortest distance it actually gives you the area okay, <clears throat> of the parallelogram okay, so let's say this is this is your R right, and then let's say this is my F okay. so if you take the magnitude of R and this F This area right here is the magnitude of moment. Okay? And then the direction of moment then will be R cross with F. Right? In this case, um, my moment is going downward. Okay? So moment okay, will be going this way. Right hand rule. R cross with F. Right? So R, F gives you moment. Okay, in three dimensional space. Okay, so erase this. Okay, so <clears throat> so knowing this, now we can calculate this. Right? So how do we how do we uh, go through this determinant calculation? Well, determinant. Just to refresh your memory, real quick. equals, it gives you three components, i, j, and k, and here's the result, right? So it gives you something i, right, plus something j, plus something k, okay? So that's why the result is a vector, the vector is this right here. So the first term is, if you cross out the i, this way, okay. So what remains, okay, is these four items right here. So you just cross multiply, okay. So, so the first term is R Y times F Z, and then minus, okay. You cross multiply once, and then you always subtract the next, okay, two items. So which is R Z F Y. Okay, and the second, okay, the J, now that's a little different. So for the whole thing, for the whole I, okay, the whole thing is positive. But if we jump to the next one, J, the whole term is negative. Okay, so it becomes, okay, if you cross out this J right here, so what's left is see, these four guys. So we cross multiply. These four guys, it gives you, okay. Now, positive, I need to make that into a negative. Okay, so it's a negative of cross multiply. So Rx 
times F Z minus R Z times F X. And the last guy. K, right? So color okay so, this way. So what's left over is these four guys. Okay, cross multiply, getting a little crowded here. Now positive here, okay, negative here, and then it goes back to positive up here, right? So the last term is our x times f y minus our y times f x. That's it. Okay. So <coughs> just go through the calculations, you know, plug in numbers, it gives you a vector in the end.